Let's talk about interests in the whole value chain of venture capital or entrepreneurship or company creation or exits. The way a venture fund operates is it's got a pool of capital that it's been given by a group that we in our business call limited partners. Consider them our investors. And once we return that pool of capital to our investors is when we as venture capitalists make money. So necessarily, we have to return the entire fund that we've invested across the many companies that we've invested in before we as VCs start making money. We are incented to go for the big ideas, rightly so. That's what this money is for. It's for innovation that is transformational. Having said that, there is a real dichotomy today in the market for seed stage slash really, really early stage company creation and the way a venture fund is set up. If we invest $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 in a company, for us, it's clearly just the option value of seeing what can be created before we invest more money. For the entrepreneur, though, that may not be the case. If that is the case, great. Your interests and the venture fund's interests are completely aligned. But if that's not the case, that's a real problem. You putting your life, you know, as an entrepreneur, you're putting your life, your energy, your time, your resources into this idea, whereas for the VC, it's just another option. That's really not alignment of interests. When that company is successful and makes money and we own two or three or four percent of it, that's not good for us. If it's a hundred million dollar sale and we own two percent of it, gives us back two million dollars for a two hundred million dollar fund, that does not move the needle. That's not fair to us. We cannot afford to put time, energy, our resources in trying to make that company successful. So we are incented to own a significant portion of the companies that we put our time and effort and energy into. That's our alignment of interest. So make sure that when you work with a venture fund, understand what they are structured to do. That could be being a very good seed stage investor, and there's a lot of those around. Small funds, doing small things, small amount of money back to them could be meaningful. If you're doing a deep technical product that will need 20 to 50 to 100 million dollars to get to a place where you're gonna see the returns, better make sure you work with a large fund that has pools of resources behind it. To be able to sustain that, but make sure they are incented by their ownership in this company so that when it's successful, it's meaningful, them, meaningful to them. Alignment of interest is very, very important in the success of the company. Nine out of 10 times companies cannot get to the next step because the people they've brought on board, whether they're investors or team or, or customers in their interests are not aligned.